I'll start with leafy spinach. Leafy spinach is available where I live all year round, so I would normally not preserve it. But I decided to include it for those who want to see how I would do it. I'll be sharing the two states I would preserve spinach. These are the two states I would normally use frozen spinach in my cooking. First, rinse the spinach in plenty of water and put them in seeds to drain. Then chop the vegetables into small pieces. The first state is preserving it as chopped vegetables. So I put the chopped spinach into a pan and wilt on high heat. I use a frying pan because it provides more surface area for the heat to reach all the vegetables quicker. That way they are not overcooked. They are still green by the time I am done. Stir it around till they have completely wilted. See all the water that came from that? I would normally just pour it in a sieve and throw away the water. But for my nutrient hunters that would rather all the nutrients go into our bodies, you can boil this water down and add it back into the wilted spinach. Watch it go from this to this to just look at. I looked away for one second and it's burning already. Anyway. Add what is left of that into the veggies and mix. Then I make lumps and lay them on a flat board like this. I have parchment paper on the board so it will be easy to take them off when frozen. Look at how green the spinach still looks. The second state I would preserve leafy spinach is as ground spinach. There are some recipes that call for ground spinach. My favorite being adding it to smoothies. I can buy frozen ground spinach from the grocery shops where I live, but if you can't, this is how you can make it at home. Also, in my country, Nigeria, there's a Nigerian soup we can use ground afang leaves. That's ground okazi leaves to prepare afang soup. So you can prep your afang leaves this way and store in the freezer. I have a diaspora version of afang soup coming up in my next video so stay tuned to this channel for that. Just add the chopped spinach leaves or afang leaves into a tall container and use an immersion blender to blend it. An immersion blender allows you to blend this without adding water. With afang leaves you may need to add a little bit of water because Afang is a tough vegetable. I'll leave the link to this immersion blender or something similar in the description box. Blend it till it's chewed like this. If you want the ground spinach a bit dry, you can sieve the blend. My rig up is a chiffon cloth tied over a bowl. With afang, no need to see because it doesn't contain much water. Let's set that aside for a bit. If you want to freeze it straight like that, just scoop the spinach blend into ice cube molds like so. Back to the one we were sieving. Ring it. Look at that solid green color. You can actually use this as a natural food coloring. That's the subject for another video. <laughs> when done, you can freeze the drier version. Again, you can either save the water and use it as food coloring, add it to your smoothies or boil it down. and add back into the ground spinach before freezing. I think I prefer this one the most. It's not too watery, it's not too dry and we salvage some of the nutrients. Yay! Have you liked this video yet? Have you? like oh, because i'm sure you are enjoying the video now to nigerian vegetables ogo or ra or oha or zizak or red leaves or tazi scent leaves 
and all the bobo tibo leafy vegetables we have in Nigeria. Some of you already know that I do not like cooking with dried leafy vegetables. Drying them destroys the leaves and they never go back to the fresh state. I'm very picky so I never get the taste of home from meals prepared with dead, <laughs> not dead, yeah, dried vegetables. So whenever I travel to Nigeria, I bring these veggies fresh. When buying them from the market in Nigeria, I make sure I buy the ones that have not been washed. When I get home, if I have time, I pick them and wrap them like this. Else, I bring them like that and pick when I get to my base. Look at all of them. Rinse them very well in salt water. Then chop and freeze in Ziploc bags. Look at them sitting pretty in my freezer. I'll upload videos using some of these in recipes. Here's what the frozen spinach, the chopped one and the ground one looks like. Bye bye, see you in my loaded upcoming videos.